Hi friends, Sarah here with The Holy Mess. This is day two of our Bible reading plan of faith over fear. How are you doing today? Um, I, uh, I'm excited to read today's Bible verse, which is a very famous passage that I'm sure is really meaningful to a lot of you. And I would love to hear in the comments about um, what this verse means to you. Actually, I'm going to read it right now. So this is Proverbs chapter 5, and we're doing verses 5, Proverbs 3, Proverbs 3, 5 through 8 today. So let me get to this. We are talking about trusting in the Lord with all of our heart. And my page flipped over. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I got it. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make your paths straight. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and shun evil. This will bring health to your body and nourishment to your bones. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. In the comments, tell us about what that verse means to you. It's a famous verse. It's one that so many of us have memorized. We've lean on, leaned on in difficult times. Um, what was a time where that verse was really meaningful to you? A time that you did have to trust in God with all of your heart, that you prayed for direction, that you prayed for him to make your path straight. One of the things um, I wrote about this verse in my journal, if you want to get a journal, you can get that on my website. Those are printable that you can download, was um, he makes our path straight, but we still have to do the walking. <laughs> we still have to walk in it. Sometimes we talk about, um, oh, if only God would tell me what to do, if he would give me an answer. But the truth is, sometimes maybe we wouldn't want to follow it, even if he did give us that direction. So there is the knowing, knowing what God wants us to do, and then there's the actually following it. And sometimes those are two different things. Um, what, um, what does that verse mean to you, especially during this time that we are on stay-at-home orders, that we are dealing with um, this virus? How are you trusting in God? Um, the verse talks about trust the Lord with all your heart. Wow, that is challenging, isn't it? To fully put our trust in God Something that I was thinking about and praying about with this verse is that um, I was thinking about big things and small things, um, trusting God in the big things so that um, for protection that my loved ones or myself don't get sick. It's that um, we will have what we need despite um, the economy changing so drastically. It's, um, you know, will my kids be okay and some of those types of things. But, you know, I think for me, sometimes trusting in the smaller things is actually harder. In the bigger things, it feels so big and so out of my control that I find that I do turn to God for those things. I mean, it's completely out of my control. I mean, yes, there are decisions I can make um, to try to be safe, but ultimately, you know, like this virus, I can't, I can't 100% keep myself safe from that. So that's an area where I tend to more trust in God. But some of the smaller things, I don't even think to ask him for. For me, um, you know, I do pray about my weight, my weight loss. Many of you know I've lost 100 pounds and I'm maintaining it. But a lot of the day to day, I rely on myself. I figure it's almost like I think like I don't even want to worry God with that, which is ridiculous because God wants us to turn to him in all things, big and small, in relationships. Um, relationships have been a struggle lately. And, um, you know, an area where I fall down is that I tend to want to fix people in my family. And um, I've got a great blog post that uh, for marriage that is um, it's for wives and it's it's not your job to fix your husband. And uh, that's an area where I could write that post because that's a struggle of mine. I tend to want to fix him, and that's not my job. It is my job to love my husband. It's not my job to fix my husband. And the same is true of my kids. And I think sometimes that's really challenging as parents because it is our job to provide direction and guidance and um, you know lead our children, but ultimately it's not our job to fix them. That is, um, if they need any fixing at all, up to them and up to God and the Holy Spirit. It's not my job to try to fix my family members. And that's something that I need to continually be 
reminded of and something that I need to work on. Um, they need love and support from me, not fixing. Um, another area is, um, just things that I want. Um, I'm not a big like stuff person. Like I don't need a fancy car. I don't need a fancy house, but there's still things that I want learning to, um, rely on God rather than thinking that I need to chase after those things. Even if they're small and expensive things, even if it's things like, you know, the brands that I want being available at the grocery store or things for my house or, um, you know, just those different things. So, um, for me, sometimes trusting in the Lord in the smaller things is actually more challenging than some of the bigger things, but the big things too. So I would love to hear from you in today's verse. Um, what are some ways that you have learned to trust God with all of your heart, lean not on your own understanding, and follow his paths that he makes straight for you? Share about it in the comments, and I will see you tomorrow for tomorrow's reading. Remember, you can get the Bible verse sheet for free at theholymess.com. And if you want to, you can download the um, printable notebook for the Bible reading plan and follow along with us. And I'm so glad that you're joining me today. Have a great day. Bye-bye.